Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. So today is going to be a fun challenge video. I had seen a couple people do this on YouTube. My friend Laura Lee just did it and I think Laura said in her video that Tina Tries It did it as well. So this is going to be the full face of foundation challenge. I'm so excited. This is like something different, unique. I would never think to just do my entire face makeup with foundation, so that is definitely interesting. So we shall see how this goes. Again, guys, this is a funny video, all lighthearted. This is not like a serious video whatsoever. I'm not 100% sure who started this trend. I honestly only found out of the trend from watching Laura's video, so if you guys know who started it, please leave a comment down below and I will be sure to credit them in my description box. It's also 7 a.m. and I haven't gone to bed yet. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, so I have a bunch of foundations here. I have Dior, I have a Maybelline, I have some Tarte foundations, and I also have some Bobbi Brown foundations that I'm going to be using. I was sent this whole PR kit, let me show you. So I was sent this from Bobbi Brown with like a bunch of these little testers in here. I saw Laura use a bunch of little sample foundations from NARS and unfortunately I don't have that PR pack anymore. I actually gave away to some family and friends some of those foundations, shades and stuff. So I literally just got this, like I literally just unboxed this and I was like, what a perfect time to use it. So they sent me full sizes down below here, which are way too light for me. So let's just go ahead and use some of these. I'll probably be using these for the darker shades because I honestly don't have any darker foundation shades. I tend to give them away or donate them or, you know, just give them to friends. And I don't really have very much. So this is actually perfect timing for everything. Y'all should see my beauty desk. It looks like the Tasmanian devil came by and just swooped everything up. So without Further ado, let's get into this, hunty. Okay, so first I am going to be going in with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Foundation Primer, and I'm just going to put this all over my face and make sure that we are all primed and that our skin just feels nice and smooth. Pores are covered, girl. Let's go. So usually my first step in my routine here is my eyebrows. Now I don't think I have a dark enough powder <laughs> to do my eyebrows. So we're gonna have to use some foundation. And also I am going to be setting some of this stuff with foundation powder because I, I literally couldn't sit here and have foundation dripping off my skin and like trying to blend and just looking all wet. So I do have some Maybelline Better Skin transforming powder. So this is their powder foundation. So I'm gonna be using this along with actual liquid foundation. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna be mixing together a bunch of like Bobbi Brown shades here because I think that will just be the best for my situation. I'm gonna go in with the shade Espresso. Try to get some of it on the back of my hand here. I don't think I'll need too much because after all this is foundation. It's not like a pomade or anything. And then I kind of want to mix in Cool Almond with it. I feel like that'll be a good shade. Oh yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. So I'm using an Anastasia brush and let's go in and like start to do these brows, girl. Okay. This definitely is gonna be a harsh brow. Ooh, this is messy. My brows are definitely not this warm toned, but this is like the best I could do. And the shade even said cool on it, what the hell? We're just gonna have warm toned orange brows today, y'all. Okay, shape, not too bad. So we are just owning these warm toned brows, y'all. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna try to set this a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in with some Maybelline foundation powder here and just kind of dust over this. Actually, this is making it more cool toned, so this might actually work out in our favors here, y'all. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation powder. I feel like the powder is saving it. It's kind of lightening it up a tad. Yeah, okay powder, I see you coming true for me. All right, not not as bad, not not too bad, right? <laughs> All right, so now usually what I do is eyes. So I'm going to do my eyes. Let's look for my Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Fair Neutral, 
and I'm just gonna use this as a primer for my eyes. I'm gonna go in with this beauty blender, and then to set everything, I'm gonna pick back up this Fit Me foundation, and I'm just gonna use this large fluffy brush and set my eyes. Okay, so I feel like for the eyes, since I do have powder foundation, I feel like I'm just gonna use that because it is foundation. So I'm gonna go into the Better Skin Super Stay foundation. This is in the shade 70, and I'm just going to use this in the crease as a transition shade. This actually is nothing new for me because I was using like bronzer as eyeshadow back in high school, so this doesn't feel too weird for me. But, you know, foundation in my eyebrows, that definitely is weird. And then just doing the same thing over here. And then you know what? I'm gonna take a cream foundation. This is from Tarte. This is in the shade Tan Deep Honey. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go in with a brush that I don't care about. And I'm gonna buff some of this in the corners. Oh, okay, that's kind of working. I could probably even go in with a darker shade. Gonna do the same thing over here. I feel like cream foundations are definitely probably the best for my eyes because I feel like they're the easiest to work with. And then I low key wanna do like a little bit of this. This is Cool Walnut from Bobbi Brown. I'm gonna take this brush, saturate it in kind of very, 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 very lightly. Like I can't say very enough. Okay, she's going somewhere. Shit, I'm proud of myself right now. Maybe I shouldn't get too happy. I still have to do the rest of my face. But girl, I'm excited. I love these freaking challenge videos. I'm also making sure to set with foundation powder so that nothing moves because this could get messy. Okay, I'm kind of like impressed with myself. So I'm gonna pick back up the Fair Neutral from Tarte and my Morphe M224. I do have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps at the checkout and that'll get you 10% off your entire purchase and you can use that online or in Morphe stores. And I do make a slight commission but it's a win-win for both of us cause you get 10% off, I got a little commission, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna use this and kind of like create a cut crease. Just like a simple cut crease, not anything like dramatic over here. And then before that sets, I'm gonna put some powder over it. I'm gonna use the same Maybelline Fit Me powder and go right over that. Okay, not too schnabby. Is that even a word? Not too shabby, is that what I meant to say? <laughs> So I feel like it wouldn't be right if I didn't at least attempt to do eyeliner. So I'm gonna take the darkest shade that I literally have, which really isn't that dark, honestly. I'm kind of like really disappointed in that Bobbi Brown, but this is called Cool Espresso. And I'm gonna take this Morphe R45 brush. I don't know if I wanna do liner, like winged liner or what I wanna do. I'm just gonna, maybe just gonna line my eyes. I feel like, let's ball out, let's just, do winged liner, or at least try to. Okay, brown liner coming through. So now I'm literally just gonna go over that with some powder. This will probably lighten it up, which I don't really want it to do, but we gotta set it, girl. Not too bad. This is just gonna be me gassing myself up this whole video, I'm so stupid. All right, y'all, don't be mad at me. Don't be mad, but I am gonna add some mascara. I won't do lashes. I feel like I at least need mascara because I look kind of crazy. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. All right, so let's move on to the face. I am gonna go in with my new Dior foundation. This is the Forever Undercover Foundation. So let's apply this all over. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand, dab it all over. And then I'm gonna use my Morphe Y6 and I'm just going to buff this into the skin. This foundation, I love it. Okay, perfect, we are all on. Now I'm gonna do concealer and contour with foundation, which actually is the easiest part, I feel like. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Clay Stick. This is Fair Neutral, and I'm just going to conceal. And then to contour, I'm taking the Clay Stick in Tan Deep Honey. I'm just gonna contour her, and let's blend this puppy out. Since this is cream, I do feel like I need to work it a little bit more into the skin, but that's totally fine. It's like normal with like a creamy stick foundation. Just blend, blend, blend until your arm falls off. 
That's my motto. Okay, so let's set under my eyes. I'm gonna use the Better Skin, which is also a foundation powder. This is in the shade 20, so it's lighter than the other Fit Me shade. And this is gonna be used under my eyes. This is where it could all go downhill, y'all. Okay, not bad, never mind. So I'm just setting everything right here. This is about to be some full coverage, girl. I'm also using my E48 brush from Morphe for this. And I'm just going to take whatever is left on the brush and kind of dab it throughout. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. To set my contour, I'm gonna go in with the Better Skin in shade number 70. Kind of just go on in. I'm also gonna use this to get some of my forehead and my chin as well. For lips, I feel like I kind of wanna use the darker shade Cool Espresso from Bobbi Brown. I'm just gonna dump some on the back of my hand. And then you best believe we gonna set this. And then this is a Smashbox lip brush. Damn, this is nowhere near as opaque as I need it to be. I need total concentration. This is definitely not staying dark enough. I'm not sure why. Okay, y'all. Shit, I'm excited. <laughs> wow, this was such a fun thing to film. I don't know why, but I thought that this was gonna be a literal shit show. Not sure why. I would say the only shit show on my face are my eyebrows. I think that those definitely need some help. They're definitely a little bit too warm tone for me. So yeah, but otherwise everything else I'm kind of like digging. I obviously can't add a highlighter or blush because I don't have any foundations that are shimmery or anything like that. So this is kind of where it ends, but I do really like the way it came out. I actually really shocked myself. I'm really excited about this. I can't wait for you guys to see this. Make sure you leave me a comment down below what you guys thought. Also, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications down below. This was so fun. Thank you guys for recommending me to do this challenge. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.